everyone, this is Kathy at Attic Treasures Etc. And welcome back to my channel. So I thought what we would do today for a Tuesday tutorial is to make these great pockets for your journals. And there's one, two, three, four, five pockets. And if you just glue it down on three sides, then you have a six pocket. So why don't we get started? This this one I did with kind of a taller book page and I inked it using the ink techniques that I describe in my video, Playing with Inks, part one. So if you haven't seen that, zip over to that one after, after this video to learn how to use inks in a totally different way. So then I just kind of decorated it with some stamps and butterflies and a watch. This one I did a very similar way, a much smaller book page, and I just thought it was so moody because I used such dark colors on it. So I um, used the word thunder on here and I embossed it with embossing glaze because it just reminded me of a thundery rainy day, even with the butterflies because they always, I mean, they're it's spring, so we, we're starting to see them everywhere. And then this last one I did with a napkin, <clears throat> excuse me. And so that's the kind that I want to do today because it has some, some little tricks and I just thought this one was so cute. So I thought we would uh, do this one. And what I brought along to use is this uh, book page, book pages, and this napkin because it's really vintagey looking and has these pretty white roses on it, so I thought we would do that one. So why don't we go ahead and get started? <clears throat> so I'm gonna sit down now. <laughs> so what I have here are four book pages, and they're not, well, they're not, well, they are kind of torn, but if you can kind of keep them together to start off with, then that works well, but it doesn't really matter. So the first thing you wanna do is starting with this page isn't going to have any folds on it um, to start off with, but this one is. So what you want to do is fold these under, and you're going to do it in graduating um, widths. Or, yeah, you'll see. Um, so that one, we're going to start there. And, and these can be adjusted as, as you fold them. Okay, so I like to try to get them somewhat evenly spaced but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so there we have one, two, three. Now what I do is I try to straighten out the folds a little bit by following the text. So I just sort of adjust it just a tiny bit on each one and it's not necessary to do that, but it's, you know, <laughs> I just like to. So I'm just doing that right now. There we go. I just, you know, sort of line it up with the line of text and put them back together and see what do I have. And that looks that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is glue these flaps down. And I'm just going to use a glue stick for that. And they don't have to be, you don't have to be too um, precise about it. And you'll see why in a little bit. We just want them not to move around. So we're going to glue these down. So that is going to form the three pockets in the front. Then the other part is where you take the top two pages and you fold them up to where to whatever depth pocket that you want. And then the, the, the second, the last two group of pages, or group of two pages, I should say, you can fold those up to where whatever seems right to you. And having them uh, stay together on the spine kind of makes this part a little bit easier. Okay, so here we have kind of the, the beginning of this process at the beginning of this pocket. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, um, the napkin on. So I have this napkin. 
I'll, and I have to tell you, the first time I tried this, I put it all together and sewed the edges and everything and then tried putting the napkin on and just kind of cutting where the openings were. Ugh, that was a disaster. Don't try that. That didn't work at all. I don't often throw stuff away, but that one got tossed. So this napkin has three layers. The other one I did only had two. So that's okay. We just need to pull it apart and get it ready to go. We won't use the whole napkin and you'll see why. Okay, the first part that we're going to put napkin on, we just need to put it, um, see my frame still? Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There. Okay, so we only need to cover with napkin the part that is going to show. So all we really need to do on this page is, and I'm just going to open that up, just to about here, and we don't, well, actually I'm going to do it so that the ridging is just going to fold over the back, because I don't know if you can see, but there's ridging on the edge of this napkin, can you tell? Yeah, there you can kind of see it, and it probably doesn't matter, but that's just what I'm going to do. So, we only need about this much because that the rest of it's just going to be covered by the one in front of it okay so i'm just going to cut that much i'm not going to be too precise about it i'm just going to use my scissors you can use a water brush whatever is easiest but i'm just using my scissors okay we'll set that aside and it's going to go right about there. And that's more than, way more than enough. So you can use Mod Podge for this, but I have been using this uh, Distress Collage Medium, and I'm really liking the way it works. I like it a lot better than Mod Podge. Okay, so I'm just going to get out my, my well stained craft paper, or I mean a parchment paper. Okay, can you still see? Okay. There we go. Go ahead and do the rest of it and now we're going to cut off the margins so I'm not worried about that but I do want um, a little bit of overlap on the top that just makes a nice a nicer edge in my opinion Now the only thing that makes this more time consuming than other projects is that you really need to dry it before you do the next page because you need to lay it on top so you know where to put the napkin on the next page. So I'm just going to dry it with this heat tool, which I love this heat tool. It's so much nicer for this kind of thing than my um, embossing gun is. Okay. So this next one, again, we only need to cover as much of it as, as is going to show, and maybe just a little bit more. So this piece, we can, let's see, we can cut it, actually we can go kind of diagonal like that. And we'll just cut it like this. Because again, you don't, 
need a full size piece for this part at all. And see, now that covers plenty, and I could even go a little bit more. Because again, we're going to cut off the margin. Okay, doke. So, am I still in frame? There we go. I'm going to sit this one out of the way. put that on there kind of test it yep that's gonna be just fine and obviously the reason you need to do this before everything is all attached uh, you know all put together as far as the book pages go is because it needs to have time to dry. Um, okay, let's just do this. Move it around until it's fairly secure. You'll never see that side, but I do want it to, it, it kind of uh, protects the edge. Okay, now I'm going to dry this again, or dry this piece. Okay, it's a little tacky, but dry enough for us to get to the next piece. Okay, so I'm going to actually set that over there. The one I need to address is this one. So same thing. We only need to cover the part of it, the part of the book page that's going to show. through with this part. I like this collage medium because it's not as wet, I guess, as Mod Podge. I don't know. There's something different about it. The other thing about this stuff is that it glues everything. It glued, um, it, if you saw my video of playing with inks with the, uh, with the canvas, and I glued the um, plastic pieces on that I did with this collage medium, and it worked extremely well. I was quite surprised, actually. Oh, 
also gives it a, a nice texture. Okay, I'm gonna dry this piece. Okay, doke. And then this is the last piece. Now this one, I since this is the uh, pocket that's turning up, I don't, well, I can cover it all the way to the bottom if I want to, but it's not necessary. So I can just, um, oh, let's see. Let me just go like that. I wasn't going to use the ridges, but I guess I'm using the ridges, so that's okay. So here we go, just gonna glue with this collage medium on the page. Slap this down. I'm gonna go a little bit over. get wrinkles you can just kind of lift it up a little bit and lay it back down kind of like wallpapering does anybody wallpaper anymore I love wallpaper but I don't have any in this house I uh, lived in a new built Victorian for several years and we built it from the ground up because who builds a house from the roof down right or from the sky down. <laughs> um, but anyway, I know it was a dumb joke, sorry. So um, I wallpapered the whole thing, except for the kitchen and the bathrooms, I think. But anyway, did a lot of research into what uh, kinds of wallpapers were common from an, the era that the house was. It was a Queen Anne. So I kind of wanted it to be somewhat authentic and and it was pretty authentic, and I loved that house. But my husband got it in the doors. <laughs> my ex-husband, I guess I should say. I have a wonderful husband now who's my biggest supporter, otherwise known as my biggest enabler. And that's okay, because <laughs> he, he supports everything I do, which is awesome. And honestly, I didn't, I didn't care that, um, that he got it in the divorce, because after all, it was just a house. And now I have a beautiful home, a happy, happy home. And that's probably TMI. Yeah, but that's a little bit about me. That was a little bit of who I am. Okay, so now I'm going to dry this one. Okay, so now um, these two pieces are going to have this pocket. So these, uh, the pocket pieces for this section need to be glued together. So I'm just going to do that with a glue stick.
And then this piece needs to be covered with the napkin as well. And this napkin has no real direction on it, so it doesn't matter which way I place it, except for whatever's convenient. Cut off a piece. I do want a little bit of overlap on the top. And again, that, that's just to give it a little bit nicer edge. that side and now this side oh man I'm burning through this stuff <laughs> probably using too much okay so I'm just gonna set this one aside and let it dry on its own for a minute um, and move on to these because the, the this pocket also needs to be glued together why I like this um, the spines to be <laughs> still attached because it just makes this job a lot easier but that isn't what happened so we just deal with it right okay last piece to glue on is this one Boy, if you like gluey fingers, this is the project for you. <laughs> Let me see, is this going to work? Yes. That will work. I've already got a little fold that I can use to fold over the edge. Is that going to end up Ooh, right on the edge? So what I'm going to do is tear off a little piece and do a little MacGyver. medium I need. A 
Okay, I'm going to finish drying. I'm going to put this in water. Because I'm done with that now. And then I'll dry these uh, pockets. Pocket flaps. When I was doing these earlier today, my husband wanted to run to the store, and I wanted to go to Dollar Tree anyway, so um, I said, okay, let me just quickly wash my hands. I had so much glue that I needed to peel off my fingers. It was just unreal. Looks like a big mess so far, doesn't it? All right, it'll all come together in the end. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is, first of all, let me just trim off some of this napkin excess. Make it easier to see what I'm doing. This isn't the final trimming, but it just kind of gets it out of my way. Okay, now what I want to do is just kind of uh, take some art glitter glue and glue the edges just, to, just enough to keep them in place so that when I sew, um, it's not sliding around all over the place. So just a little bit. And I'm sewing in the margin. I mean sewing. <laughs> I'm gluing in the margin so that um, when I sew, my needle's not going to go over that part. I mean, it'll, obviously it'll go over the collage medium, but that's okay. I don't want to glue these these parts down yet, and I'll, I'll explain why in a minute. Okay, now for some reason that didn't come out super even on the top, but that's all right, I'll just trim it. Okay, so what I like to do now is fold these flaps down, and again, if these were totally even at the top, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and make them even at the top, because that's just bugging me. Um... At least as even as I can. Again, this is all just in the margin. And that's all going to get cut off. Well, okay, that's close enough. Sorry about that, guys. All right, but what I do is I uh, fold, fold it out and then figure out where I need to punch my holes. So I figure out what because all the margin is going to be cut off, so I need to know what the center of the text portion is, the text block. And so I'm about four and a quarter. So I am just going to try to line this up on my mat, and I really don't like this mat. It's a, it's a new mat that I have just over my, um, my media mat. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, plug my glue up. My, my glass media mat has finer markings on it, but it glares terribly with the camera. 
So I'm just trying to find a zero point. Okay. So I'm just going to mark it there. Take my circle punch and go through this worked before. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I have my circles punched out, my thumb holes. So at this point, I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. But actually, what I think I'll do first is ink this up a bit uh, with some vintage photo, I guess. at least just around the, the top of the pockets and stuff. Everything else I can do after it's um, sewn together. Alright, so I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to sew just inside the text block or right alongside the text block. Alright, so I will be right back right after I anchor these guys down. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a second. Okay, I'm back. So what we have now is that it's all sewn down on the edges, not perfectly straight, but nothing in this uh, art world, at least my art world, is straight. So now I just wanna trim off the edges and I like to do it with my ruler and my little knife. And just line it up. I'm really not straight at all, but as far as my stitching goes, but that's okay. It's kind of hard to see the text block through some of it. Okay. And the other side. You don't want to try to run your craft knife this way because it gets caught on all of the, the pocket flaps and... I've already tried that. <laughs> it's quite annoying. There. What do you think? So now we have this this cute oh that was way too close, wasn't it? Here, let me go back out just a little bit. Um so we have a pocket here, and a pocket here, and a pocket here, here, and here. So now um, I'm going to grab my Vintage Photo Oxide. And you can just kind of vintage it up a little bit, even a little bit more. And if you want to, of course, you can round the corners. You can stamp on it. Um, get the edges here. You can add um, any kind of elements that you want for embellishments. I have... these little stamps but the the backgrounds already kind of busy so it might be too much to have but actually you know that might not be bad why don't 
I try that. Good and black stays on. <laughs> I always forget to take that little plastic part out. Okay, this better work on the first try. I don't I'm not using my stamp platform. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, not perfect. And I think what we need is a little butterfly or two to brighten it up. You're pretty. Ink up this little guy's edges. A little art glitter glue. Maybe a little lace. Okay, so I found a little scrappy piece of lace and a word, the word breathe. So I'm gonna use a little Fabri-Tac. Boy, my glue is all in terrible shape. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do a little smushing and then let or this little word do the rest of the job. Okay, I'm calling it done. So it kind of, we kind of had a little bit of an oopsie daisy in here, but I think the butterfly adds to it in the top and the bottom there. And then we have um, our little pockets. We can put some tags in there. So we have a little pocket here. Then let's put a smaller one in there. Put this little guy in there. This one can go back here. Another one up here. And another one in there. So and there's even one more in here too if you wanted something out, out of the top. So there we go. Our little uh, five pocket loaded pocket out of book pages. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a, give it a try yourself if you do let me know in the comments and um, and I hope that if you like this video that you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe and share and everybody let the serendipity find you till next time see you later this is Kathy at Attic Treasures etc bye bye